for my next trick, an ordinary coin. Now watch carefully. Huh? Uh, I can't believe you're making me do this. You're the great Rustini. You love magic. Loved. Past tense. Hocus pocus. Try and focus because now you see it. And now you don't. Oh. <gasps> All right, let me interrogate Russell, Lieutenant. I know I can break him. There's no need, Cadet. I know exactly how Russell made the coin vanish. How? He dissolved it with a miniaturized spectronomic atom desequencer. Probably not. I suspect Russell performed a simple illusion. Masterfully. See, when you think I'm taking the coin with my right hand, actually, I let it drop into my left. Then I made sure you were all looking at my right hand while I said all those magic words. Hmm? So you wouldn't see me drop the coin into my pockets. <laughs> A little flim flammery. Magicians call it misdirection. Huh. Huh. Decepticon signal. Very close. Headed right for the scrapyard's front gate. Denny, Russell, fix it. Hang back. If this con's making a frontal assault, he must be pretty confident in his firepower. Be ready for anything. Out so I can see your claws, Steel Jaw. Scorpnock. Brother Decepticon. You can't believe the betrayed. What did he say? Something about being tricked by another Decepticon. Steel Jaw was flim flam? Whatever the case, let's get him into stasis. Why would Steeljaw come to us if he was ambushed by another Decepticon? Steeljaw seemed delirious. He might not have known where he was or what he was doing. Grim, let's double check the seal on the pod. Pretty sure we're at quadruple check by now. You're right. I'm sorry, I just... I never feel comfortable around this con. Lieutenant, I have some information about not having information. Scorbinok's name is not on the Alchemor's Prisoner Manifest. Just like Saberhorn. Precisely. So I accessed the larger Cybertronian law enforcement database and found his rap sheet there. Scorbinok is an intimidator. He preyed on outlying communities on Cybertron, ones without much of a law enforcement presence. He'd pillage them, then tear the structures to the ground for pure enjoyment. How can a Decepticon have been on the Alchemor but not been on the Alchemor? Flim flammery? There's an explanation for all of this. Steeljaw was trailing Energon when he walked in here. Maybe we can follow that trail all the way back to where he fought Scorponok. Let's rev up and roll out. <laughs> Energy. 
Energon from Steeljaw's Wounds. And it leads through there. What is this place? The drive-in movie theater. Humans travel here in their vehicles and park next to these speakers so they can watch and listen to a film that's projected on that giant screen. A reward for their vehicles. Very considerate. Not exactly. Not here. I'm gonna get out of that Quiet! Or I'll crack you two next time instead of the ground. Where are those insufferable speed freaks? Who is he talking about? horizon, no steel jaw, no point in being here. <sighs> you got a lot of nerve wasting Crazy Bolt's time. This is the only warning you're going to get. I lead the island. Crazy Bolt's time is my time. And if there's one thing I hate more than anything else, it's any bot whining. <laughs> This is where Steeljaw told us to meet. Mm. Said he'd bring us elite warriors. Oh, scrap. We should never have trusted anything that deceitful Decepticon said. Scorponok is here to meet Steeljaw? But didn't Steeljaw tell you Scorponok was the one who took him down? Grim and I will cover your exit. What is it, Lieutenant? We've been tricked. <gasps> the broken white line calls to me, Scorbanock. And Crazy Bolt has to answer. Illumination through acceleration! <laughs> you had your one warning. Freeze, Cogs! Can we just split this stationary scene, boss? I'll make it quick. Scrap. Subsonic force field. Correct. But this time, instead of rewiring your equipment to project such a field, I brought my own. 
It also let me cast a barrier around myself to protect me from your cryogas, and pop your stasis pods lock from the inside. And it was so easy to hide. I just had to convince you to let me in. <laughs> so gullible. Just a couple of scratches. Beast on his way back here, Steeljaw, and you- No, he's not. Your friends are busy being taken apart by acquaintances of mine. Or the other way around. I'm fine with either. Just stay there in case I need you. Now excuse me while I reunite with some old friends. trip to stasis cons. If there's two things I hate, it's whiners and cowards! Fight, Dagobah! This is how I fight! Greetings, brothers, old and new. It is time to return to our work, and at last succeed in making this planet a utopian haven for Decepticons. Our work? Why would I work with you again, Steeljaw? You and that first Decepticon got most of us tossed back into stasis in the first place! And now I've freed you. And while you slept, I have allied with many Decepticons who will help make our dreams a reality. I don't blame you for not trusting me, Thunderhoof, but see for yourself. Go to these coordinates. If you do not like what you find, enjoy my gift of your freedom. If you're messing with us again... You have my word. Go. I shall rejoin you shortly. <laughs> they are so easily led. Or is it misled? Now then, the last time I was here, you demonstrated impressive weaponry. I'd hope to take some with me. Steeljaw freed most of his old pack and took off down there. I see you've come alone, the inexperienced student. Save yourself, strong arm. Forget that! Kick his metal tail! I am more than experienced enough now to take you down, Steeljaw. Improved, cadet. But this is no sanitized academy exercise. In real life, 
enemies fight dirty! Jaw to a cadet. Not quite yet. <laughs> quite a decision you have to make, strong arm. Either let me go free, or they'll all be squeezed to pulp by my subsonic field. <laughs> Hand over your intriguing weapon. <laughs> Promise you won't hurt Grimlock further, and I'll tell you everything I know about Steeljaw. You know Steeljaw? I don't care what you know. I've wasted too much time being stationary when there are miles of road to be run. I'm going to... Stop! Enlighten me about Steeljaw. Steeljaw wants this planet for himself because of its magic. <laughs> There's no magic here. That's what I used to think. But you haven't been on this planet long enough to realize its power seeps into you. I'll show you. Natives call this Flim Flam. Focus, focus, try and focus. Because now you see it, and now you don't. How did you... Scorponok and Crazy Bolt, and keep the Minicons unconscious. I'll be back! Tick tock, strong arm. No, no, frustration never sold. I'm starting to like you, cadet. Hang on, hang on, hang on! Uh, oh, there's too many buttons! Anyone broken? Where's Steeljaw? Gone. And he took some cronies with him.
Fix it, we've closed the pods. Are you reading positive locks? Confirm, Lieutenant, and the modifications we made are functioning perfectly. Subsonics should no longer affect the pods. Better late than never. Steel just sent his pack somewhere, but we couldn't see the coordinates. And he talked about forming an army with a bunch of other cons. An army is what Steeljaw wanted initially. If he's trying to build one again, that means he's probably learned from his past mistakes. And that makes him twice as dangerous. Well done, Steeljaw. These elite warriors of yours seem more than... Pity that Scorponok chose to betray us, but I'd say that what you've brought us more than makes up for that scoundrel's loss. You're going to go far with us, Steeljaw. Very far indeed. Try searching without the sarcasm, please. It's just, we've hunted down some of the worst of the worst, and now we've spent weeks looking for a cord. For the ninth time, some investigations take a while, and even the ones that seem the least interesting can be the most fruitful. Finding this cable could lead us directly to the cons. Bumblebee's right. Every crate of high output cable that's come into the train yard in the past month has been stolen, and I bet my bolts Decepticons are to blame. The most recent shipment is here somewhere. Now we can use it for con bait. The thief or thieves may know something about this new grouping of fugitives we've been hearing about. Boring part of mission over! I found the cable! I found the cable! Oh. Ah! Ah! You unworthies blocked my path to Doratus before. You shall not do so again. Doratus and the Fountain of Energon are missed, Springload. <laughs> the spirit said you would try to cloud my mind with untruths. Yet Steeljaw has promised Doratus to me. As soon as I return with this bounty, Lit up and set your Decepticon Hunter on wide dispersal. I want that Amphibicon unharmed and able to tell us all about Steeljaw. Okay? <sighs> Someone's shaking me really hard. Lieutenant, I heard a shot. Yeah, that was Bumblebee. Shooting me. Actually, if I'd hit you with a concentrated beam, you'd be... Grim, I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> Scrunt. Sorry about Springload, guys. We're back on patrol in 15 minutes, team. <sighs> you know, B, I, I think the team may need a break. Autobots don't require breaks. You've been going non-stop for weeks. Grimlock didn't report his position to you. You went trigger-happy and almost roasted his capacitors. And Springload escaped. You're all mentally fried. Nah, we have been revving pretty high. 
But the Decepticons are gearing up for something, and we can't just stand down. You may not have to, Lieutenant. There have been an unusual number of thefts in Crown City involving high-tech soundboards. I've compiled the police reports, and I'm 97.3% certain I know the next car fit. Carpet. <laughs> Target! Soundboards? Those consoles used for recordings and concerts? I, I get that human musicians might want them, but what would Decepticons need them for? Typical soundboards could be converted into sonic asteroid deflectors for Cybertronian starships. One of the last places left untouched in Crown City for the thieves to target is the Rumble Dome, where tomorrow night a concert has been scheduled featuring the musical consortium Rear Axle. <gasps> Rear Axle? Woohoo! Lame. I assume by lame you mean the most awesome band ever. No, I mean lame as in lame. Are those humans? They're just in costume, Grimlock. I became a huge fan of theirs the last time I was on Earth. I mean, they play songs about fighting for justice and not giving up so long as the music's still playing. I mean, it's like they know me. Which is exactly why the team should stake out the Rumble Dome parking lot. If cons try to infiltrate the show, you can intercept. But if they don't, you can all relax and enjoy the noise. The music. A chance to be near Rear Axle. We are in. Actually, I'm way behind on my continuing education requirements. I'd be available for backup. <clears throat> Me too. I've been wanting to work on some, uh, sculpting. Well, then I suppose Denny and I will just have to rock out enough for all of us. Yes! No! Oh, I promised Crackpot Carl, the camshaft collector, I'd, I'd look at his newest finds tonight. I've already rescheduled twice, and... They don't call him Crackpot Carl for nothing. But I mean, someone has to pay for parking at the Rumble Dome. Without a human, I'll never get in. Russell can help you out. If you promise to get clear at the first sign of danger. Oh, uh, I have plans tonight, too. Doing anything but going to a rear axle concert. <gasps> Russell! I can't believe you would refuse to help B on such an important mission. I'll give you a week off dinner cleanup if you bring me back a t-shirt. You're gonna change your mind about Rear Axle, Russell. Their performances are legendary. Aren't we supposed to be searching for Decepticons? Of course. But the band newsletter says their new stage show features an epic space battle. <sighs> the opening act is still playing. Oh, I can't believe I'm really here. Uh, I'd better make sure those fans are screaming with joy and not because they've seen a Decepticon. Remember, first sign of trouble, get clear. And don't forget your dad's t-shirt. And get a steering wheel cover for me if they have one. Size medium. Uh, hopefully they have earplugs too. Ladies and gentlemen, Parking lot. Oh, great. <sighs> Whoa.
I know what made the noise, you brainless drones. I want to know who knocked them over. Of all the many cons in the galaxy. <laughs> we have to disconnect the cords carefully or the equipment could be damaged. Or I'll let down, up, up, left, right, you! with much higher combat attributes than yourself. See the band? They haven't played Carpool Lane to your heart yet, have they? Bisk and two minicons are here. Bisk? I, I made a wrong turn. They're in the storage area under the stage, trying to grab a backup soundboard. I, I tried to get clear, but they were between me and the exit. <sighs> and I was just starting to have a good time. That's not sculpting, that's turning big rocks into smaller rocks. Hmm. Some bots have no appreciation for art. Traffic code 790. Failure to slow for emergency personnel during a pursuit on a one-way thoroughfare through a commercial district? Yes. Strong arm, we have Decepticons. Is your offer of backup still good? On our way, Lieutenant. See you soon. If we let Bisk go, can we just follow him to Steeljaw and these other Decepticons? By now, it's too risky. If that soundboard is the last piece the cons need, we can end up facing a fully armed spaceship. Or a doomsday weapon. Or worse. We'll have to hope Bisk responds well to questioning once we get him back to the scrapyard. <sighs> Think they'd let us into the loading dock if I explained an extraterrestrial lobster's about to steam up their day? No worries. I have an idea. <laughs> Hit me back. Ciao. Dude, you can't park here. 
Hey, my dad's the drummer for Rear Axle, and he's gonna blow his stack at you two if I'm not inside 10 minutes ago. Clear? Oh, sorry, sir. Go right in. I'll be. Strong arm to Bumblebee. Go ahead, cadet. Traffic jam, sir, and too many humans for us to sneak away. We'll get there as fast as we can. Understood. Carpool lay to your heart. All right, let's see if we can wrap this up so I can at least catch the encore. Ah, we lost them. And the soundboard. Maybe not. This took a soundboard, but there'll be another one on the arena floor mixing audio for the concert. Come on. I can't believe this. Why am I not hearing the snare? Ted! Ted! Earth to soundboard! Oh, someone get Ted replacement headphones now! This better be the last thing that goes wrong tonight! Do we have replacement headphones for the soundboard yet? Oh, sorry. Didn't see you there. Oh, yes. Be ready for your cue. Any way to get up there without walking past a million humans? Those go right up to the side of the stage. With all the weird props these guys use, you'll fit right in. Find a security guard. If things go wrong, the crowd will need to be evacuated. Then get somewhere safe. Decepticons stealing property, threatening innocent humans, and can me miss a rear axle concert! Ah! Bisk messed with the wrong Autobot. Huh? What are you doing messing about down there? Get on the blooming stage! If you insist. One player I never defeated. Well, here's where I high score you right out of existence. <sighs> I've seen your moves, Bisk. Believe me, you're nowhere near my level.
autograph that. Well, I must have, because that is brilliant. out of the arena. He's a friend of mine. Beat it, you boneheads. Strong arm just calmed. Traffic eased up and they should be here soon to help us transport the prisoners to the scrapyard. You know, Rear Axel wasn't actually all that bad. Sorry you didn't get to enjoy the concert, Bumblebee. Are you kidding? I was part of the concert. Me, up there, with Rear Axel. I feel like a brand new pop. Uh, sorry about that. It came pre-distressed. I, uh, it, it, it's almost like I was there. Tell me everything. Was it a blast and a half? Actually, Dan, you didn't miss much. Yeah, just another night, just another show. He's an enforcer who worked for Thunderhoof. Whoa! 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 Stay! Get your stasis cuffs out, cadet. I can't keep him down much. Yeah, sure is. Oh, not only have the humans seen him, they've heard him talk. Explaining this is going to be impossible. Lieutenant, requesting permission to make impossible explanation. Isn't he amazing, folks? Just one of the marvels in If Dinosaurs Could Speak. The incredible new exhibit here at the fair opening tomorrow at the Science Hall. Okay, say goodbye, buddy. Uh, oh, uh, goodbye, buddy. I am a robot that talks and looks like a handsome dinosaur. Yeah, I covered that. Here we go. Come on. <sighs> I'm afraid after yesterday's incident, we have to make a change to our mission protocol. Grim. You can't go on missions in public with us anymore. But I didn't do anything wrong. Sir, we've been dealing with situations like the one we face today since we came to Earth. And we've been very lucky. But we're running out of cover stories. I'm sorry, Grim. Our presence on this planet must remain a secret. And we keep running into trouble because we just can't disguise you. Aww. Autobots, 
To the command center. Police report unusual acts of vandalism within a small radius in Crown City. Multiple sightings of an insignia carved into the exterior walls of auto parts stores, car dealerships, garages. Quillfire. Since Steeljaw freed him, maybe Quillfire will lead us back to the other escapees. Let me go grab my trailer and we can get going. Sorry, Grim, but my order stands. Huh? Let's rev up and roll out. No problem. I'll just get back to my target practice. You never know when you might be attacked by barrels. I've looked everywhere for you. You must not have been looking too hard, because apparently I'm not that hard to spot. Bumblebee is incorrect, Grimlock. You're not impossible to disguise. We simply haven't tried hard enough to find you a disguise. Let me show you something. Next. Forget it. This is pointless. We're never going to find one that's right. Huh? Ooh. Fresh. Sir, look! My brothers in arms, we must hurry, lest the tools of the revolution be taken from us. Who is he talking to? Don't know. I'll go around the block. We'll hem him in from both sides. Stand down, Quillfire! You seek to imprison me again? This time, your iron-fisted ruling power shall be met with much greater opposition! Back! Forth! Show the tyrant! I'm encountering strong resistance. Uh, hold on till I get there. Victory for the cause! <laughs> yes, fourth. Absenting ourselves from this ambush? Would be prudent. Nah, you two are learning fast. The next generation of the revolution will be in good hands. victory! Destruction of the enemy! <gasps> oh! Oh, we must leave these behind rather than risk capture. Surely our allies on the island would agree. Island?
Fix it to Bumblebee. Lieutenant, do you copy? I repeat, do you copy? Yes. <clears throat> I copy. Oh, sir. Am I glad to hear your voice? Quillfire's signal indicates he's still at large, and you haven't checked in for hours. We're fine, Fix it. Quillfire hit us with his quills. We. We appear to be surrounded by unoccupied Earth vehicles. Uh, there are devices attached to our wheels that prevent us from moving. Even our drivetrains can't snap them. Attempting to transform to bot mode. No go. The toxins in the quills are probably responsible. Redonkable. Responsible! You may not be able to transform until they wear off. You're in an impound lot? Oh, how embarrassing. <sighs> Quillfire mentioned an island with other Decepticons. That corresponds to what we've heard from other cons lately. The auto parts he's stealing must be critical to their cause. B, forget your order and let me get you out of there. No, we already have one crisis on our hands. Don't worry, B. Russell and I will come and bail you out. Ah, wait. We don't have proof of ownership. They'll never let us drive you out of there. So we won't say they're our cars. May I borrow your plasma saw? My power tools are at your disposal, Denny Clay. Help us on the way, sir. You'll be after Quillfire again in no time. Good. He can't be allowed to get back to that island. I'll call if our situation changes. Out. Get dressed. While we're waiting, we might as well see if your new disguise will hold up in public. I don't know, fix it. Bumblebee was pretty clear he wanted me to stay in the scrapyard. That was before he was imprisoned with a dangerous Decepticon still on the loose. If Denny Clay and Russell can't free the Lieutenant and Strongarm, Quillfire may make it back to his island. If we don't prevent that, and something awful happens as a result, keeping our cover won't have mattered. Grimlock? I'm getting dressed! <laughs> I'm not sure this is a good idea. You just need to get used to it. Hopefully, that'll happen by the time we find Quillfire. Uh. I'm Stan from Crown City Repossession, but not to the call to pick up two vehicles. Let me see the work order. Work order? Oh, <laughs> It was repossessed. <laughs> Plan B. Start looking. Uh, Scrud! Can't believe I'm stuck here with a bunch of common criminals. You won't be here much longer. Russell, Denny. <laughs> Bud, we'll need that gate open when we're ready to roll out. You got it, Stan.
break out, Danny and Russell. You know, you'd make excellent Decepticons. Is that a compliment? Sir, I just picked up a call on my police scanner. A silent alarm tripped at an auto parts distributorship near here. Inform police that it was a false alarm. We don't want company. This isn't working! Please excuse the traffic delay. This construction crane was specifically designed to look like a dinosaur and to help build schools because everyone knows children love dinosaurs. I'm a dino crane, a happy dino crane. Dino, 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 dino crane. Grimlock, local police are reporting a silent alarm alert. It sounds like something we'd be very interested in. Quillfire, you are going down! Take cover. We believe Quillfire is in the vicinity. Affirmative. He's here. Actually, he fled just before you arrived. I thought I had him. Then I didn't have him. Oh, sweet Solus Prime! Cool crane mode, Grandma. You're here too? You could be seen, and I specifically said... Nobody thought I was anything but a crane. Even you rode right by me without noticing. Well, I, I, that was only because... B, am I a part of this team or not? Our mission is catching cons, and if I can't help, I might as well not be around at all. Sir, we don't have time to argue. Quillfire's getting further away. <sighs> Agreed. We'll resolve this later. Denny and Russell stay here. If Quillfire is still looking to steal a quantity of auto parts, his next likely target would be only two miles from our current coordinates, a large truck stop. Okay. Grim, you're with us. Yes. So I can keep an eye on you. Mm -hmm. Let's rev up and roll out. I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Whoa. <laughs> At least I didn't fall, right? Hold the higher ground. Go, go, go! Is it out? Is it out? 
if you would just hold still. Come on, you see me, don't you? You little bucket of gear grease. I was here, huh? Bumblebee to Denny. We're on our way to pick up you and Russell. It's nice to see someone else under there for a change. Graham, don't move. Dino Crane, Dino Crane, Dino, Dino, Dino Crane. Oh, it's just that... Crazy new construction vehicle. The radio sub was blocking traffic earlier. Looks like you found the right camo, Grim. You can accompany the team on all missions again. Thinks it found me a disguise. I can go on missions. I can go on missions. The disguise worked, and I am a genius. I can go on missions. <laughs> 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 